Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film is kind of a follow-up of the previous film. In the previous film, we uh, showed uh, I showed you how to set your location. We initially started up in the northern, uh, way up in the northern hemisphere, up around Greenland, and showed you what the sun looked like up there, and then we moved down to Washington State. Uh, we also set our sun path. We turned that on to see where our sun is, and we turned on our shadows, too, so you can see, visually see, what our model looks like. And uh, the benefit uh, to doing this is to uh, be able to take advantage of where the sun might be during certain uh, times of the, of the year and perhaps design our house around that in order to take advantage of the, what little sunlight we get in the wintertime and uh, try to minimize the sunlight in order to reduce our uh, cooling load in the summertime. I think I said that right, but anyways, uh, let's do this. Just to follow up on that, let's uh, change our location of the sun one more time. And you notice if we spin this around for Washington State, with the shift key down and the middle mouse button. You notice the sun gets pretty high up in the sky, but it doesn't get quite overhead. And that's something to consider uh, when you're, um, you know, just the geometry of the planet in a way. In the middle of summertime, if you're up at the North Pole, the sun will be at a, a very stable location, as it is all the time, but it'll be at its maximum, about 23 and a half degrees off the horizon. So it kind of scoots around at the same elevation all day long, which is kind of weird. Uh, in our state, we're about uh, halfway between North Pole and uh, the equator, so it's uh, at quite a steep angle. And the sun will never get directly overhead, and that's what defines the tropics, essentially. Uh, the tropics are defined at sometime over, uh, uh, sometime at noontime between the tropics, whether it's the Tropic of Cancer or Capricorn and the equator, or uh, elements in between, the sun will be directly overhead sometime during the year. So let's do this, just for the fun of it. Let's go to. Um, Let's go to our Manage uh, tab, go to our Location button, and let's move it from uh, Washington State to Hawaii. Now, Hawaii is well within the tropics, and uh, take a look to see what the sun looks like there. Now, the reason this is kind of slow is because I'm uploading videos right now, so it's going to be going to be kind of slow. But we're going to scoot out from Washington State and just take our little icon here and drag it to the Big Island, Hawaii. Drop it in place and kind of scoot in a little bit. Okay. Just, just waiting, just waiting, regenerate. So what you're going to see here is that the sun's going to be well into the northern uh, hemisphere. What we have our settings on are June 21st, which is the summer solstice. So for the northern hemisphere, the sun is going to be at its maximum during that day. And uh, of course, across the winter solstice, the uh, sun will be at its, at its minimum. But what you'll notice here in Hawaii is that the sun's going to be a little bit over overhead. It's going to be more north than directly overhead. We will never see that where we're at. Oh, there it is. So it's just having difficulty rendering us right now. So as you be, be a little bit further north in it uh, uh, than what we will see in Washington State. And so let's just let's just settle for that for right now. And since the uh, internet's going to be kind of slow for us, it might take a few minutes to uh, regenerate this. But let's go ahead and enhance that by turning the sun path off and then turn it back on again. So now you notice that the sun is overhead. Uh, the angle is uh, much, much more steep. It's uh, approaching 90 degrees as we get further into the tropics. But you notice that the sun is now uh, more than overhead. So these are some of the things you might want to take in consideration when you're putting your Revit model together, uh, depending on where the, uh, what climate and what part of the Earth you're, you're making your model. You want to make sure that in the cool months you want to enhance uh, the, you know, the, the position of the sun and make sure it comes into your house if you like that sort of thing. And in summertime, in order to reduce the heating or the cooling load, you want to make sure that the sun is uh, shadowed when it comes into the house. Okay, we'll talk about more about this here in just a few minutes.